Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. I have a Goodwill haul and I remember that this was one where I had to leave one Goodwill and rush to the other. So I had like less than an hour to shop. So it's going to be a small haul. And I will tell you also that that I um I have tried to take out a lot of the wrapping and take off some of the prices already. So anyway, maybe that'll help. I don't know. <laughs> but uh so the first item I have in my hand and it is by Volupte Volupte USA. And I wanna say well, I wanted to say it was like a cigarette case, but I don't think so. It's, I don't know. I'm not fancy. Like, why would I? What would you have carried in here and like secure it in there? And then, I don't know. It's probably something really obvious. But there are not, cigarettes are not this thin. So it might have been like um, some type of makeup. I don't know like I was thinking even like business cards but then that's a little big for that but I don't know so maybe money no I don't know I haven't looked you guys I don't always look things up first I actually always do this first oh you guys are getting a big peek at the last item but whatever just keep your eye my eyes are right here <laughs> Um, then I got this bag of like a chenille candy cane, but it's like all this different, all these pieces. So I just, I was like, yeah, I'll take that. That's kind of cool. I might, I might need a few of these just for like accenting certain areas while I'm decorating. And then I will probably sell some so that you all can accent your areas of Christmas decor as well. So, um, yeah. Now let me try to put a little rubber band on this real quick. Just because, right? Not sure how I'm separating some things. Um, this is definitely for a, um... For a boho sale, which I just had, <laughs> but you know I'll have a boho uh, blast on every sale, or uh, I will have this and just I'll have another boho sale soon. I don't know. It's made in India. It's just a very cool bowl, carved wood. Um, doesn't say what kind of wood this is, and I'm not really altogether sure. I'm gonna guess that it had some type of lid because of the lip on here. But so what? I mean, you're not going to throw this away just because you lost the lid, right? I'm pretty sure I don't have a lid in there. <laughs> so, um, it would be cool for all kinds of things. I'm not even going to have to... You guys, if you don't know what a bowl can be used for by now, email me. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Oh yeah, this... Oh, Beth, you're going to love this. Is... Another lighthouse item. You guys, it's so hard because I see a lot of lighthouses, but a lot of them are just junk. This will be cool. Look, it's like indented. It's like in there. This is, uh, oh, good gosh. What does that say? Oh, I had it upside down. Made in Taiwan. And it is just a block of lucite or acrylic with, it's like a, three-dimensional scene. Very cool. Very cool. Beth and I spoke on the phone quite a while yesterday. For over an hour, I'm pretty sure it was. Well, not on the phone. It was a video chat. Okay, you guys. This is, I mean, I think this could be a big deal for somebody. Like, I don't, I have to find out. I'm going to Google lens this and see. But Whatever, like, this pot and pan situation is, lifetime, 
this could be like somebody that collects this, this would be like a cool piece. Like if you collect Pyrex or if you collect Corel or if you collect Tupperware or, you know, um, whatever. If you have like a, the like OG, not like somebody, a lot of people remake these things or make emblems or um, decals and stuff. Not talking about that. Talking about some kind of OG piece that says like this you know, that like is an ad, this is like basically advertising. And this is, that's, how, I mean, I, I don't know. I got a vibe that that was really something pretty cool. I could be way off. This could be just for some junk. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> this little guy. Okay. You're going to have to stay in storage for a while, but that's all right. Look how cute. I mean, he's so cute. I, and I don't decorate for like all the, but you know, I got to go back to maybe like getting my little like a vignette of something. But now some of his green is gone on this. Like, see, it has to be like maybe touched up. That's the sort of thing that I'm okay with maybe a touch up or maybe leave it alone. But look at him and then put a green candle in there or whatever. I mean, that's, that's so cute. So cute. And then this reminded me of when I was a kid and, um, or not even a kid, like maybe like, yeah, well, I mean, I was tech, I mean, technically a kid, but like in my, I, I want to say like teen years, you know, um, but maybe like they used these and put a, but anyhow, we had... So it's even better. Oh, it says 1985, Christmas Around the World. Okay, that's probably what it was because I sold it. Um, and it says on there, Chris, 1985, Taiwan. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure we had something very similar. My sister and my picture. My sister's was in one. My picture was in the other. Duh. And probably from years, well, years earlier. So this might not be like top notch. But this might be like, oh my gosh, totally reminiscent of a time. And I think that makes it something that somebody will want, like, big time. And then especially because it's in the box. There is nothing better than when something, I mean, you know what I mean? When something's in the box, it's just like, okay, here you guys go. This is, again, this is another one of these, like, if you don't know how much I love you people... Here's another indication of how much I love you all. Okay, first of all, I'm not going to play because I don't want to get in trouble, but it is a Joseph's original. I'll play it a little bit. Okay, that's it. And it is, first of all, it's a little music box. It says, just for you, Grand Rapids, Grand Haven. It's made in Japan. It has strawberries, and it has a fuzzy, fuzzy little guy. A uh, little critter. Uh, you guys know I cannot stand these little things. Raccoons. Uh. Anyway, somebody is going to love this. Ah, uh, can't get that stop, 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 da, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> there we go, it stopped. Okay, Bella's like, what? Okay, I, why did I get this? I don't know, because I thought it was hilarious. I try not to buy all these, like, Wallace Berry things or Russ Berry things, but this one was funny. It's 1975, and it's not one of those, you are the world's greatest father or teacher. It is world's greatest waste watcher. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> and you know, everybody needs a house hippo, right? So there you go. I, I mean, come on. It's just adorable. 1975 Wallace Berry Company. There you go. Just cute. It's just cute. What more do you need? Okay. All right, this is just a cool um, uh, 
boho basket. Like I said, well, it's not even what I would consider a regular basket so much as like for a plant, right? To put a plant in there. I think this one's really cool. I like it myself. Um, and then this, I think it's cool. It's a, it's called Dark Eyes. What does that say? Somebody wrote, um, somebody wrote on pen, in pencil, it looks like on here. And it says, I don't know, it's kind of, is that marked? I mean, it's like numbered. It's number 33B. I don't know if that's an O or a P. And it says dark eyes. Anyhow, it's signed. It's artist signed. I think it's super cool. I actually bought it thinking that I might actually end up keeping it, but I don't know. It's cool. And it's signed by Dorothy Sawinski. Or down, or, I don't know. It sounds like somebody that could be related to me, to be honest. I wish. Anyhow, it's it could be a, uh, well, I think it's meant to be on a wall, right? And that this is just meant to not scratch the wall. That's what I think. I don't know anything. That's just what I think. And, you know, what that's worth, so... Um, all right. Okay. Oh, I really wanted to make it so that I wasn't bending over so much here. Let me try to do this and see if this will help. That might help a little bit. All right. Um, this is a glass flower frog and it's peachy and it's got feet rare for me to find I think but well I don't know anyhow this is one of those cool ones that you can like use for pens and pencils or um you know I have a bunch of that stuff right back there or you know you could even probably keep your scissors in there how cool oh you could put a bunch of scissors in there very cool um so you could use this for all kinds of stuff. You know, because, well, this isn't, it, this, it has a lot of broken pieces. Well, maybe not. That's just natural. Um, but, you know, you could put marbles and stuff. There's all kinds of, like, decorative uses. And then, of course, because this is one of the pretty colored ones, that helps. <laughs> Oh, this I got for somebody. I, um, and it's, I'm trying to take off the Goodwill ticket and leave the regular ticket on there, but can't. So I'm just going to take this price tag off. And I know it's made in China and I don't care um, because I don't think the person's going to care. It's just something that's funny. I almost forgot about this, and I'm glad, I, I'm glad I'm doing this now, because otherwise I might have forgotten to send it. Um, so anyhow, it's uh, the Space Needle, and I like the, the font, too. I thought that was cool. Anyhow, this is going to someone special, or, you know, in particular. It is dirty. I got a... What is that? I don't know. What the heck? I love the font. Or the, um... I definitely need to clean it up. But I love the atomic, you know, the boomerang and all that jazz, too. So, anyhow, that's going to somebody. Um, this is... Just because it's so boho, I had to grab it. And I think, yeah, it was half off, so... I, you know what, I, I don't always buy a lot of these because, I mean, honestly, I don't know how much um, interest there really is in it, but um, it's uh, like a boho kind of outfit uh, pattern, and I like that. I like it. I got some uh, Christmas napkins. They are... Um, from 1991 
and um you know i'm not sure if i'm gonna sell them or keep them for i don't know anyhow i'm pretty sure i'll end up selling them just because they're cool vintage and they're in a package so got this uh it's a tablecloth well it's a vinyl tablecloth and i'm going to use this um it's so funny that it's all like taped together and a part of me is like leave it taped but then i'm like the longer you leave that tape on there the stickier it stays and i don't want that Ugh, i definitely don't want that so um just going to take that off real quick and this i'm going to plan on using in my um in my booth uh for my christmas you know like either for christmas in july or for um you know, regular Christmas time. Um, cause I think for Christmas, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but anyhow, so that's, uh, that's, that's just a, it's really nice. It's a uh, hearty. You know what I mean? It feels like it anyway. Let's see if it has a tag on it and it's not the kind that has, you know, like some of these have that stuff on the bottom. That's like, I don't know what that like kind of loose cotton. Oh, look at that. Look at the corners. That's cool. So there's scallop. It's scalloped on the end. That, that's really super cool. Um, just trying to see if I find a tag. I am not seeing one so far. Um, but it doesn't even matter. Like I said, I'm keeping it to use, but it definitely feels like it's, um, you know, older. But I like that it's got that solid heft to it. All right. And then, um, oh, I love, love, love this. Um, this is just some um, um, paper, um, tissue paper. So, yeah, I just got that because it's just cool tissue paper um, that I am... Uh, not sure what I'm going to do with yet. I could sell it. I don't know. Because it's very cool. But I mean, why not just use it? So. This is very boho. And it is. Um, got turtles. It's purple. Ah. Look how great this is. And fringe. Oh my gosh. So, very cool. Very cool. Needs to be washed. But these colors, look at that. So then the ends are, you know, very cool like that. So this is like one of those, definitely I could see, you could just, you know, throw over your shoulders if you're on vacation. Um, and you have like your swimsuit on or swimsuit top at Lee Allen Schwartz or something. And, or you could use this as a, um, a liner, like a table runner or something, you know, or even like in a window, you could, first of all, you could just fold it over like one end and then the other, and then you kind of give yourself a little more privacy and a little bit of light might still come through it, or you do it like this, you know, it just depends, I guess, how much space you've got, you know, and how you like, you like it and you can kind of even drape it. So you got a little sunshine coming through, but you can't, you're blocking out like more that bottom, that I, the eye line of, um, vision of privacy that just needs to be washed for sure. I don't know what that smell like is like, but this, um, I am, what did I, what did I decide about this? I don't know. Um, it's cool. Well, I got to look at it real quick. I love everything about this and I might be keeping this. It is, um, manufactured in South Africa by women owned business, micro businesses and community projects. This project or product was made handmade by treasure. 
and then it has this, um, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Website address, email address and web address, www.barokabasadi.co.za. And it was $34. Wow. Okay. Handicraft soul. Anyhow, it is like I, it's for keeping like water or food cold. And what I was thinking, oh, and then here's this whole thing about heart handicraft soul. And it's, you know, I like the whole idea of that art is, it's artisan made. And I thought this would be good for when I go to, um, have my, you know, when I'm at, we're doing our, um, flea markets that I could put some water in here and some, uh, like good snacks and keep it cold. So I was planning on keeping this because I haven't had a lunch bag thingy for some time because, you know, I've been out of the work world. And when I moved, I had, I put a lot of that in a rummage sale, I think. And also like a lot of things got so, so a different way. Anyhow, um, this is just, uh, there it's gonna, it's gonna close. Yeah. It's, this is, and this is hard, like not hard. It's like got this, I don't even know what that is. Well, I mean, does it say it? I want to say it's like a canvas, but it's not, but that inside is that, um, to keep it cold. And then this is, it's just hardened in shape. It just needs to be, um, you know, worked out. I don't know if that's even, that might even be, well, probably not. I don't know. Anyhow, I'm probably keeping this. It's really my style and everything. And I, I would definitely use it. Um, then I've got this, um, and it is, Oh, and I got at the flea market or the antique hell, oh, the estate sale I went to yesterday. I got, I think I got a loop. I think that's what it was. And I got a micro or a, a microscope, a micro, um, what's the, is that a mic? No, not a microscope. What's the hang? What's the, the binocular? No, not binocular. I can't think of the word. Um, but there, so this is a little leather. Open that up. You could put like dollars, I guess, in there. And then I guess then you would put coins in there. I think it's just cool. A just cool uh, looking piece. So that's that was, that was the haul. And then I went back down another aisle to go up to the checkout. And I saw this. Holy buckets. I. Oh. Look at this. It's heavy. I ain't gonna lie. It's a little heavy. Look at this. The thing is, there are no indications of who the maker is. So I have to do a Google lens on this. Well, also when I open it, maybe I'll find out. I paid up, but that was totally fine by me. I, um, because look, if nobody buys this, it might not be the right color for where I'm going to be going in the future with things, but it's so flipping cool. I'm going to see if I can get this tape off. I should have done this before. If I can get this tape off, maybe there's a, a mark, you know, inside or something. There we go. Ugh. And there's two pieces. So what I, of course, thought right away was, it's a cooler or a, I mean like a, an ice, uh, ice bucket. Okay. So 
<sighs> Sorry. And, uh, where's the rest of it go? This tape, you know, I, I mean, it's sometimes I'm, I'm happy that they tape some things, but they don't have to tape it for war. I mean, cause you know, you kind of would like to look at something at the store anyway. So I didn't even, first of all, because they were going to be closing and I did not want to be at the end of that line because I, I hadn't eaten dinner yet. So I was hungry. And so I was trying to get up there. And then I didn't really have as much in my cart as I might have normally had because I didn't even have a full hour in there. I know some of you are probably going, what are you, girl? You need an hour? I need more than an hour in some of these. Our goodwills are stocked. I'm telling you, I don't have to tell you that again and again, do I? We have good Goodwills. I've been saying this for years. Um, and one of our Goodwills, the OG Goodwill in our in Milwaukee, is becoming a, a bins. I hope they do it like the other bins that is um, like an hour away. And not the one that's like an hour and a half away. Because that one's not great. Okay. So, look at the color. Oh, this is so good. I mean, I hope somebody's sitting there thinking they have to have this. It's going to be amazing. And, I mean, right now, obviously, it's got some, a little bit of sticker crud and maybe, like, my, my fingerprints and stuff. But, yeah, it's totally white. I wasn't even sure what the um, lid or the knob would have on it, but yeah, it's totally white. There's no, still no indication of a maker, and I will clean that up better, but here's the top. Ah, I mean, this, look at this. This thing is like bigger than my head. Oh yeah, that's heavy. This is weighty. Okay, but look at that piece. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see what this is valued at. Because I'm going to say not $10. <laughs> um, and then there's this. So it's, the, it's open like that. Then there's this. I'm sure some of you are just thinking, what is she, some kind of moron? This is going to be to scoop it out. Scoop out the, but how cool is that? I mean, that's not your regular ice scooper. I would say crush. Oh God, this is so, that top, that lid is heavy. Okay. Then this goes with it. And I don't know, maybe, maybe something's missing on this. You know, as a whole set, maybe um, because this doesn't have like a lid. It's this piece doesn't have a lid. So maybe um, I'm missing something altogether. I don't know. Um, honestly, I don't care because I think that whatever this is, is going to be pretty, pretty cool regardless. Like just even if it's only just that one piece that I just showed um, and maybe something's missing on this piece. I don't know. Uh, I, I'd i say, who cares? What I'm thinking is, now I haven't, like I said, I haven't looked at it. And you all might say, say, say I'm crazy or whatever. Doesn't matter. I think what this might be, since I th that's an ice bucket, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess. Then I'm thinking this. Oh, look at that, you guys. Okay, and you could probably put something under there and keep it cold in there, right? And then that, put like your cherries or your I, your um lemon, lime, orange slices, olives, I don't know. I'm going to just take a guess at this. I'm going to weigh this, but I'm going to tell you right now, 
whatever it is, this is worth it because this is amazing. I This is like, we're talking Lucite heaven right there. So these two pieces are going to probably be in my Tuesday night sale this week with Mid Mod Blonde. Um, so if, if you haven't seen, um, which I should post it, I'm going to go post it on on YouTube now, so you probably will see it now. But um, uh, Steve had an emergency. He had a power situation, and so it's kind of like set him back in, you know, life for, uh, you know, just like, ah. And so we're going to have to figure something out, and we'll do a sale another time. But And it's a bummer because we've had this plan for months. But... Um, Anyway, so he had to cancel last minute, and so I got uh, my girl Kathy. She is mid mid mod blonde. She has been on um, YouTube. She was like as a customer. She's bought, I think she bought from me on YouTube, and then we kind of got to know each other like on um, Instagram, and she sells on Instagram, and I was like, hey. And she said yes. And so this will be her first YouTube sale. And let me tell you, um, save save up and be ready because she has the some really nice stuff. I I would like for us to be able to have some uh little nicer stuff, not just six, seven, eight dollar stuff, because she's you guys, she has the she has amazing items. I'd like for her to be able to bring those items to to get these items to you, right? So, um, anyway, it's going to be a good sale, I believe. I believe it's going to be a good sale. I'm going to have that. I'm going to have something else that's Lucite that I got yesterday. And it is amazing. And, um, yeah, so it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Anyway, that's all I got for this haul. So I hope you enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, that little leprechaun guy is so cute. And then he's standing by that raccoon. That's not so cute. Anyway, thanks you guys. Make sure you give me a, a thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know down below what you like. Let me know down below. Let me. There's a few things I'd like to know. I want to know, like when you come to our Tuesday, to my Tuesday night sale, if you come to my Tuesday night sale, like, what are you, what are you, are you looking for? What are you willing to, you know, are you willing to spend more than, you know, five or ten dollars on something if you see something you really love? Because of the what, I mean, I try to bring it, I try to bring some really nice stuff on, on Tuesday night. And then if it doesn't sell, then I, I usually you'll end up taking it to the Thursday sale or one of the Thursday sales. But I like to give you guys that opportunity because a lot of people are, you know, I'm supposed to have more eyes on a night sale, but you know, cause there's so much going on on a, on a Tuesday night. It doesn't always happen that way. So, um, anyway, you guys can be prepared at least if that's, if you're looking for something like that, don't even ask cause now it's got to be in that sale. Cause I put it out there and said that. So anyway, if there's anything else then you're, that you're interested in, you can, you can let me know. Um, but you know, this, uh, Lucite jobby is definitely going to be in the sale on, uh, Monday night with mid mod blonde on my YouTube channel. So thanks you guys again. Let me know down below what you're looking for, what you liked out of this haul. And, um, again, what you're looking for, tell me so I can bring you the things you want <laughs> and, um, share my channel with anyone you think might enjoy it. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, Get that button, hit, subscribe. It costs you nothing, and it helps me greatly. All right, thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Have a cup of coffee for me, and have a great week. Bye.